Hello everyone, this is Steve Pedersen from FanReachAcademy.com and this is one in a series of training videos on how to use WordPress to create amazing websites for musicians. It's called the Musician's Ultimate Guide to Website Design and in this video we're going to be talking about electronic press kits and how to add a downloadable electronic press kit to your WordPress website. Now it's really just a simple four-step process. First step, what you want to do is create your electronic press kit and save it as a PDF. Now, this is kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial. I'm not going to talk about how to create a, a PDF, but one thing I will mention is that a lot of people use like Microsoft Word to create it and then save it as a PDF. Now, if you have links that you want people to click on in your PDF and you're creating it in Microsoft Word on a Mac, what's going to happen is that you're going to lose those links. What you want to do is actually use a program like OpenOffice where you can actually export the Word document as a PDF and not just, you know, go to File, Print, and then Save as a PDF. Because if you do that, you're going to lose that, you know, ability for people to click on those links. So, uh, like I said, a little mini tutorial there, just a little heads up, I guess. Uh, secondly, what you want to do is create your download image, and this is completely optional. So this could be just a three-step process for you instead of a four-step process. But, uh, you know, download images are, you know, really much more attractive than just a link. So that's one thing you want to do is create your link. And then thirdly, you want to upload your PDF and your download image to your image library in WordPress. And fourthly, you want to insert the image into your page and then create a link from that image to the PDF. So let's get started on showing you exactly how to do that. Okay, I'm here in the media library of my WordPress website and as you can see I've got my awesome EPK PDF uploaded and I also have my awesome EPK download button uploaded to my library. One thing I need to get is the URL to my PDF. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to come over here to this side of the page where it says file URL. I'm just going to click and highlight that and copy it and I'm going to use that when I go into my page. So I'm going to click on all pages and I'm going to select, uh, you know, this would be a good thing to put on like a bio page. I'm going to put it on the about us page in this website. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the edit window here and go down and I'm going to select add media and put that uh, EPK image that I created highlight that and insert that into my uh, page then I'm going to click on the image and these two icons appear the edit image icon appears I'm going to click on that and then right here where it says link URL it's going to highlight what's in there and I'm going to paste over that the code that I had just copied for my PDF and click update. Okay, and once I've done that, then I'm going to come over and click on update for my page. Once that's updated, I'm going to come up here and click view page. Okay, when the page refreshes, I scroll down to the bottom here and see that my image is in place. And when I click on it, what's going to happen is it's going to open up my PDF in the next browser window. And then what people can do is just you know, click on, you know, save PDF to folder. They can download it right from the website. And, and there you have it. Now, let's say, you know, I'm not real artistically inclined. And what I want to do is instead of having a, an image for my electronic press kit, I just want to have a link like says, you know, download EPK here. Okay. Not terribly exciting, but it works, right? So we just type the text that we want. We highlight it. Then we come back up here to add a link. And then we type our URL or paste our URL that we copied into that. Give it a title. Click add link. And there you have it. Now, the other thing you might want to do is give some instructions. You know, you might want to put something like, you know, uh, right click you know, <laughs> right, right click to download, something like that, you know. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to open up, you know, in the browser window as we saw. 
So there you have the four step process. Pretty simple stuff. Now, if you like what you've seen in this video, be sure to stop by my website, fanreachacademy.com forward slash videos to find out more about the complete series of training videos on creating awesome, awesome, amazing websites for musicians. Thanks.